Have you ever thought about the most bizarre laws out there? In the United States, a country famous for its cultural diversity, some laws go beyond what we consider normal and reach the territory of the absurd, and why not, the hilarious. These are laws that make you wonder, how did someone come up with this idea? And there are a lot of them. From banning tying alligators to fire hydrants, to limiting how many erotic toys you can have at home. If you're curious about these gems of the legal universe, welcome. Today, let's embark together on a journey through the strangest and funniest laws that are still in force in the United States. Number 1. Keep your tongue away from frogs. Let's start our journey through the most bizarre laws in sunny California. Yes, it's the state of beaches, Hollywood stars, and an unusual prohibition. Licking frogs. That's right, you heard right. Licking frogs in California is against the law. And I bet you're wondering, who in their right mind would do that? Well, in the 1980s, some people discovered that licking a certain type of toad, the Bufo alvarius, could cause hallucinations. This toad, which lives in the Sonoran Desert, secretes a substance called bufotinin, which has psychoactive properties. It got so serious that the state decided to put a stop to it and banned this weird practice. So, if you're walking along a trail in California and come across a toad, remember, don't try the delicacy. And between you and me, it's better to stay away from that kind of trip, isn't it? Number 2. Beware of the Missile Now let's go straight to Colorado, a state famous for its impressive mountains and, believe it or not, for having a law banning the launching of missiles from vehicles. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Who would need a law like that? Well, the story behind this law is quite interesting. During the Cold War, the United States was in the midst of an arms race, and paranoia about national security was running high. Colorado, which is home to several military and defense installations, decided it was better to be safe than sorry, and created a law to regulate the use of missiles and other heavy weapons in civilian areas. Of course, launching missiles at cars isn't exactly the sort of thing you'd expect to see. And let's be honest, it's not legal anywhere in the world. But this law ended up on the books as a reminder of the tense times of the Cold War, and nowadays it's more of a funny curiosity that makes you laugh. Number 3. Greasy Hands or Jail Who knew that eating fried chicken could be done the right way and in accordance with the law? Well, my friends, in Georgia, it's a serious matter. Usually, when it comes to fried chicken, everyone has their own way of enjoying it, right? Wrong, if you're in Gainesville, Georgia. There, there is a law that forbids the use of cutlery when eating fried chicken. Yes, in the land where fried chicken is almost an institution, it is a moral, and believe me, legal, duty to eat this delicacy with your hands. The story behind this law dates back to 1961, when it was created as a marketing ploy to attract tourists and reinforce Southern tradition. After all, fried chicken, a symbol of Southern hospitality and culture, should be enjoyed the traditional way, with your hands. Although this law is not strictly enforced, the locals take it with great humor, considering it an amusing curiosity that is part of the local charm. So, if you're ever in Gainesville, remember, no forks and knives. When the fried chicken hits the table, it's time to use your hands and enjoy it to the fullest. Number 4. Bravery has its limits. Continuing our journey, we arrive in Oklahoma, where a law prohibits something that sounds as absurd as it is dangerous. Wrestling with bears. Yes, that's right. At some point, it was necessary to create a law to prevent people from fighting bears. In the 1990s, there was an increase in the number of shows promoting fights between humans and bears, usually at fairs or clandestine events. 
These fights not only endangered the lives of the participants, but also subjected the bears to brutal suffering. Oklahoma decided to put a stop to this barbarity by implementing a law banning any kind of combat with these animals. Today, this law is seen as a victory for animal welfare and an important step towards civilization. Because, let's face it, the very idea of fighting a bear is absurd in itself, isn't it? Number 5. Choose your pet well. Still in the animal world, our next stop is Virginia, a state full of history and tradition, where we find another curious law. It is illegal to have a skunk as a pet. It may seem like an exotic idea to have an opossum as a pet. After all, despite their stench, they are attractive animals. Who doesn't remember the iconic opossum Pepe Le Pew, always in love with the cat Penelope, who accidentally gets a white stripe on her back, making her look like a female opossum? And that unforgettable catchphrase, She's shy! said whenever the cat tried to get away from him and his unpleasant smell. But in real life, these animals aren't just smelly and, as cute as they look, opossums are wild animals and can pose a risk when kept as pets. To prevent wild ideas and keep the animals safe, this law had to be created. Number 6. Watchful Eyes How could anyone in their right mind think of driving blindfolded? It sounds crazy, but as absurd as it sounds, some people have tried to adopt this style of driving. Although most people would never consider driving blindfolded, the popularity of dangerous challenges such as the Bird Box Challenge, inspired by the movie of the same name, has led the state to enforce this ban. The law is actually a preventative measure to ensure that drivers keep their eyes on the road and drive safely. Driving is an activity that requires full attention, and any distraction can be fatal. This law, however unnecessary it may seem at first glance, serves as an important reminder that yes, idiotic people exist to propose even more idiotic challenges. Number 7. Outside the Church Still in Alabama, we find another law that is, to say the least, curious. It is forbidden to wear false mustaches in churches. That's right, if you were thinking of putting on a fake mustache for Sunday worship, you'd better put that idea to one side. This law came about at the beginning of the 20th century, at a time when humor could easily go off the rails. Some people thought it was funny to wear false mustaches in church, to distract others or even to mock someone during religious services. It's not hard to imagine how this generated a certain disorder and lack of respect in the middle of services, something the local authorities couldn't let pass. To solve the problem, they decided that the best solution would be to ban this kind of behavior once and for all. The law, although unusual, had a clear objective, to preserve seriousness and reverence within churches. But do you think that's the end of the weirdness? Alabama has a veritable collection of laws that make you wonder what could have happened to create them. And there are plenty of examples. You want to see? It's illegal to mutilate yourself to escape a duty. It's also forbidden to stab yourself to make someone feel sorry for you. How about that? It's forbidden to throw mush to the wind. Bear fights? Prohibited here, just like in Oklahoma? Don't even think about playing dominoes on Sundays, it's forbidden. Putting salt on the railroad tracks can get you the death penalty. And all cars must be equipped with windshield wipers, no improvising. Oh, and spitting on the church floor is also out of the question. And now I ask you, are there or are there not enough idiots in Alabama to have created such laws? Number 8. Hump Fishing in the heart of the Arizona desert, we find one of the state's most peculiar laws. It is illegal to fish while riding a camel. It may seem an unlikely combination, but this rule has an interesting story behind it. In the 19th century, the United States government decided to test a new strategy for crossing the arid southwestern regions, introducing camels into the Arizona desert as a means of transportation. 
Although the experiment with these animals was short-lived, they left their mark on local history, and not just in the literal sense. At some point, someone had the bright idea of trying to fish while riding a camel, and as you can imagine, that wasn't exactly the safest combination. To avoid accidents, and perhaps as a matter of common sense, a law was created to ban this practice. Today, this rule is more of a curiosity than a necessity, but it remains a curious reminder of a time when camels and fishermen met unexpectedly in the Arizona desert. Number 9. Beware of Ice Cream South Carolina brings us another law that seems straight out of a joke book. It's illegal to put ice cream in your pocket. Yes, that's right. But before you dismiss this law as simply absurd, it's worth understanding the context. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, it was common for some people, in an effort to rob street ice cream vendors, to put ice cream in their pockets to avoid payment. By putting the ice cream in their pocket, they could accidentally walk away without paying, as the ice cream man often didn't realize the trick until it was too late. To combat this practice, South Carolina decided it would be easier to ban this action outright. Although today this law is no longer as relevant, it remains a testament to the creative and illicit strategies that some people used to get a free treat. Number 10. Moose Don't Drink In vast, icy Alaska, where wildlife and urban life often meet, there is a law that, at first glance, seems like a joke. It is forbidden to buy alcoholic beverages for moose. Yes, you heard right. Although it may seem unusual, this law was created in order to protect both people and the moose themselves. In Alaska, moose are a common presence, and occasionally they end up wandering into urban areas. In some situations, good-natured, or perhaps malicious, residents have thought it would be funny to offer alcoholic beverages to these giants. But as you can imagine, this ended up causing serious problems, such as moose exhibiting aggressive behavior under the influence of alcohol. To avoid this kind of dangerous situation, Alaska implemented this law, ensuring that moose stay sober and citizens stay safe. Today, this law is a curious example of how regulation can emerge in places where wildlife is so present in people's daily lives. Number 11. Drunks Out And still in Alaska, here's another law that, as absurd as it sounds, is taken quite seriously. You can't get drunk in a bar and stay there. Yes, that's right. If you overdose, the bar is not the place for you. According to the Alaska State Legislature, the law says that an intoxicated person cannot knowingly enter or remain where alcohol is sold. Imagine the scene. You've had a binge and instead of waiting for the drunkenness to wear off or for your friend to take you home, plainclothes police officers spring into action. If they spot someone who is excessively drunk, falling off a stool, vomiting, or causing a ruckus, they call in the uniformed officers to make the arrest. And after a sober experience at the police station, the suspects are released with a citation. Number 12. Quantity or Quality Back in Arizona, we find a law that will make you raise your eyebrows. There, it is forbidden to have more than two dildos in the house. Now, you may be asking yourself, what exactly are dildos? Well, in simple terms, dildos are penis-shaped objects, usually made of silicone or plastic, used for intimate pleasure. They are common products in adult stores and are part of many people's private lives. But in conservative Arizona, the authorities have decided that two is the maximum number a person can have at home. This law is a remnant of more puritanical times, where the government felt it needed to regulate even the most intimate aspects of citizens' lives. Nowadays, this law is seen as a bizarre curiosity and is hardly enforced. After all, there are no inspectors of private drawers out there, just as your name won't be on a register at the sex store. Number 13. Only after marriage, 
Speaking of conservative laws, Virginia is no exception. There we find a rule that seems straight out of another era, but which, incredibly, is still in force. In Virginia, love outside of marriage has no place, at least on paper. According to state law, fornication, i.e. sex between people who are not married, is completely forbidden and technically punishable as a misdemeanor. Today, it's almost impossible to imagine anyone actually being prosecuted for this, but just the fact that this rule still exists is a curious reminder of how times have changed, isn't it? Number 14. Alligator on a Leash In the midst of these bizarre laws, we've already talked about camels, bears, moose, skunks, and frogs. But now it's Louisiana's turn, a state famous for its swamps and its scaly residents. There, there is a law that forbids something that sounds like something out of a movie, tying alligators to fire hydrants. It may seem unlikely, but this law has come about to prevent very real problems. Alligators are a common presence in Louisiana, and from time to time they end up invading urban areas. On some of these occasions, people unsure of what to do when they encounter these reptiles have decided to tie them to fire hydrants until the authorities arrive. Despite their good intentions, this practice has created dangerous situations, both for people and for the animals themselves. To avoid confusion and ensure everyone's safety, Louisiana decided to implement this law. So, if you come across one of these critters walking down the street, remember, the fire hydrant is definitely not the place for it. Number 15. Flying Midgets Last but certainly not least in this universe of bizarre U.S. laws, we go straight to Florida, where we find a law that is, to say the least, unusual. It is forbidden to throw dwarves. As absurd as it sounds, this practice existed and was popular enough for a law to be created to ban it. In the 1980s, this activity gained popularity in South Florida bars, where dwarf-throwing competitions were held as a form of entertainment. The situation got so out of hand that, in 1989, the state decided to intervene and officially banned the practice. But the story doesn't end there. In 2011, a legislator tried to repeal the law, but fortunately the idea didn't go through. Because, let's be honest, some things really don't need a comeback, do they? So, what did you think of these crazy laws? Were there any that left you speechless? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these incredible curiosities from our Bello Mundo. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on our next adventure.